Thank you for downloading Math Pentagon. In this video, we will briefly review the functionalities within this app and also explain how to use them. Let us begin with how students can take advantage of Math Pentagon. Math worksheets are at the heart of what Math Pentagon is all about, and you tap here to start doing your worksheet. If you see both Basic Worksheets and Pro Worksheets icons on your app, it means that the app has both housed inside one single app. Depending on the Math Pentagon app that you are using, you may see basic worksheets, pro worksheets, or both. Basic and pro primarily differ with respect to the content that is covered. While basic worksheets cover quite a few topics, each within a certain number of questions. Pro worksheets take it to a completely new level. Pro worksheets cover a wide range of math topics and allow students to practice many questions until they reach a score of 100, whereas basic worksheets are somewhat limited in range of topics covered and the number of questions in each worksheet. Pro worksheets also have step-by-step -step solution instructions for every question, which is not the case for basic worksheets. Let us take a look how basic worksheets work. Once you are inside basic worksheets, on the left-hand side, you can see the various categories of the worksheets. And when you tap on each category, on the right-hand side, you can see the worksheets under that category. When you tap on the worksheets on the right-hand side, it takes you to the actual worksheet with questions and answers. Here you can write on the white space with your finger or stylus. And once you know the answer, you can select the correct answer from the drop-down menu. If your answer is wrong, the worksheet may give you another chance. Your score will be calculated according to the number of attempts you take to get to the answer. Now let us see how pro worksheets work. Remember that you may or may not have a teacher in Math Pentagon. If you have a teacher, here you can see the assignments, homeworks, and tests created for you by your teacher in Math Pentagon. Otherwise, these numbers will show zero. The other workbooks on this shelf show as purchased because this user has purchased the worksheets. Tap on any workbook, a category, and a worksheet to get the pro worksheet. Here you can see a math question and a set of answers, as in basic worksheets, and it allows you to write. You can also select your pen's color, use the eraser, and also reset all your writings on the screen just as how you do in basic worksheets. You can also see a light bulb icon between Live Tutor button and the Pick Answer button. Clicking on this light bulb icon will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve this question. You also have a Live Tutor option that allows you to engage in a live learning session with your teacher. Inside the Live Learning Center, interact with your teacher using live audio, video, and a live board. Now going to the student's menu. Here you can view your assignments, worksheets history, and your performance. Math Pentagon also has a wall of fame that records the scores of the highest scorers. As you can see, it gets displayed against a nickname. In this case, the user's nickname is Visitor and has a score of 754. I can also change the nickname over here. I will skip the teacher's menu for now and come back to it later in this video. By going into the Purchase menu, I can purchase subscriptions and also choose to download any of the paid apps. Downloading paid apps allows me to purchase only those worksheets that I am interested in, whereas by purchasing a subscription, I get access to all worksheets in the app for a certain period of time. You should decide what purchases work best for you based on your math learning objectives. If you have to solve worksheets from different workbooks, buying a subscription may be a good choice for you. However, if you are interested only in a specific topic, such as algebra, you may choose to purchase the Algebra app. Lastly, as a student, you can review all the Math Pentagon apps from the More menu. As a teacher, you can log into the teacher's console. If you do not have a Math Pentagon teacher login, you must register right here. You can perform a number of operations as a teacher. Firstly, you can build your Math Pentagon student circle 
a student circle is nothing but your virtual classroom in Math Pentagon. You can add more students by tapping on the Add Student button. You can edit student information or even delete a student from your circle. You can also create assignments for your students from this console. You can choose to have your assignments created for all your students or students in a specific circle. If you choose to create this assignment only for your students in a specific circle, say Circle 1, you have to make this selection here. You can also choose to create an assignment for specific students in your circle. Now you can choose to create this assignment as a classwork, homework, or a test. Let us try a homework for now. The next step is to choose the curriculum. Let's say you choose Pro Worksheets as the curriculum. You should now choose the subject and the category, after which you get to choose the worksheets for which assignments need to be created. Once the worksheets are chosen, you can choose the due date and create an assignment. You can also create tests for your students using the same screen. If you create a test, you will have to assign a name for the test. Let us say, my first test. The next thing you can choose is whether all the students attempting this test should get the same set of questions or different sets of questions. This is a powerful feature because it lets you test all your students with different sets of questions, but on the same topic and same benchmark. Also remember, if you have to create another test with the same topics for the same set of students, your next test will have different set of questions. This can allow you to conduct multiple tests on the same topic and monitor students' progress over time. Again, select the subject, category, and worksheets, and add them to your test. You can add worksheets from multiple subjects and categories to the same test. To do that, simply select the next subject, category, worksheet, or topic, and add them to the test. Now you get to choose how many questions from each worksheet or topic should be on the test. You can have anywhere between one and five questions from each topic added to the test. In this case, I am choosing three questions from each topic to be on the test. Since I have five topics added to the test, I will have five times three. That is 15 questions in this test. That is all about assignments. You can also review the work done by your students on the assignments, homeworks, and tests created by you. Let us review the assignments for this teacher. Here you see the summary of all the assignments done by your students. You can tap on the graph to see the details and then tap on the review link to know how the student performed in the assignment. If the student had done any scratch work on the screen, you will be able to see that here. You can also view students' reports and get a quick snapshot of the best performing students and trailing students. You can also drill down the details as needed. These are very powerful features that help teachers save time, which otherwise would have taken several hours of a teacher's time. That is all about the teacher's menu. Remember that if you create a basic worksheet assignment, it will be visible to the student under basic worksheets, as you see here. And if you create a pro worksheet or common core worksheet assignment, it will be visible under pro worksheets shelf. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you are now ready to make use of the power of Math Pentagon.